don't let this be you. It's your first semester in university and you've been assigned a new project. You told yourself you would be proactive with your assignments in college and you wouldn't carry over those bad habits from high school. As you glance at the time, you realize the project is due within 24 hours and you haven't even started. You might begin to experience anxiety, shame, depression, embarrassment, pressure, or diarrhea. You begin to try and think of excuses. Maybe you are sick the day it gets turned in. Maybe you request an extension because one of your relatives died last year. Or you did all the work and your dog ate it up. You may begin to experience feelings of failure and relive all your past failures in a flashback. But what exactly happens when you procrastinate? Procrastination not only impacts your emotional health and safety, but it also causes preposterous amounts of damage to your academic performance. It can also cause damage to your social standing, as you don't want to be known as that guy when assigned to team projects. Failure to address the problem of procrastination could also lead to academic probation. But there is hope. Procrastination is simply a symptom of poor time management. Procrastination is really a defense mechanism. We put off what we don't know how to finish. For example, first year college students get inundated with papers and projects that seem impossible to complete and they don't know how to start, so they put them off. With simple time management techniques, you no longer have to dread larger assignments or feel a sense of imminent doom with due dates looming closer and closer. With three simple techniques, we will show you how to stop procrastinating and take back control of your life. Well, at least your academic one. Let's take a look at how simple these three steps are. Let's say you've been assigned a new project. Here's a few tips and tricks to finally tackle time management. Step one, understanding expectations. When the assignment is discussed, pay attention to small details and note down the ones you think are important. Ask for a syllabus or rubric to get a clear understanding of what is expected of you and the standards by which your academic performance will be graded. On the same day, go through the rubric and decide how much time that assignment would require. Step two, goal setting. Goal setting is simply allocating appropriate time across the timeline to successfully accomplish a task. In this instance, let's assume a particular assignment would take six hours to complete. Split these six hours into three sessions of two hours each. Open your preferred calendar app and proactively schedule the three sessions in such a way that you have at least two days before the due date to revise your assignment. Pro tip, for best results, you may opt to mute notifications during the scheduled calendar event. During your assignment session, work in three parts. Session one, gather information and resources, create an outline. Session two, insert content under headings. And session three, edit content and finalize the assignment. These two hour sessions will increase your productivity and motivate you to effectively and efficiently complete the assignment. Step three, gamification. Reward yourself for completing tasks and staying focused. Abstain from looking at your phone while working and reward yourself with food or content during your break periods. Now you can finally feel good about binge watching that series on YouTube. This is what successful time management looks like. By using these three steps, before you know it, your task will be complete. Isn't this fun? Now you are equipped with the skills necessary to understand expectations, goal set, and gamify with ease. You don't have to experience emotional damage anymore, and you can finally take back control of your life. What are you putting off? What is the smallest thing you can do to move closer to the finish line? Start small and implement these three simple time management strategies on your next assignment. When you are stuck, think of the smallest thing you can do to move forward. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Remember, Friends don't let friends procrastinate. So if you see a friend struggling with deadlines, that's all for now, fellow students. Until next time.